Hi guys, Denise from Salvaged Inspirations here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's do-it-yourself furniture project is this little side table that I've already painted gold and I'm going to be applying a faux marble top to the inset on it. Um, this is a wonderful technique if you have a piece of furniture that has some scratches, maybe it has some nicks in it, maybe it has a water stain on it, or maybe you just don't like the color of the top. This can really, really update a piece and you'll be amazed at how cheap and easy it is to do. So just let me set up and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, as you can see, this tabletop has a really nice inset. Um, so I'm going to be applying the foam marble in the center and leaving the edges gold. Okay, to start, you're gonna need a few supplies. Um, I've already painted this table gold and I've used Moonshine, Dixie Bell's Moonshine Metallics in Gold Digger. Just loving the color of this gold. Um, I've purchased some faux marble contact paper and I really lucked out by getting it from the dollar store for $1.25. Uh, they also sell faux marble paper on Amazon. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's also carries it. I, I have to be honest, usually it's not $1.25. Uh, you're probably gonna pay anywhere between maybe seven and $10 for those rolls, but they are a little more heavy duty also. This is a drawer liner and um, a shelf liner, and it is wipeable, but if you do get it online at Home Depot or Amazon, uh, you'll notice that it's a little bit thicker quality and, and a little bit better quality also need a pair of scissors to cut your foam marble to size. If you're doing an entire tabletop, you could measure or you could just roll it out and adhesive, uh, do the adhesive part and then cut the excess off afterwards. You could also use an X-Acto knife uh, to cut the straight lines or to cut off the excess. And because I'm not gonna measure, I'm actually just going to indent my paper, and I'm hoping this will work, <laughs> indent my paper and then cut it along the lines. I'm using, I could use my nail, I could use um, something with an edge where I can uh, get in there and, and find the line. So let's go ahead and open this and start this project. I'm actually excited to see what this is gonna look like. Okay, this paper is really pretty. And there's plenty here. I won't actually need to uh, do any seams to have it joined. So what I'm gonna do is spread it out the opposite way, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to tape bottom with some painter's tapes to make sure it does not budge and then I can actually go in with my nail or I could use a popsicle stick or one of these sticks and I'm just gonna go follow the edge and draw where this needs to be cut out this way there's no measuring involved and I know it'll be a perfect fit And again, I'm just following the edge. However, if you're doing a full tabletop, you don't need to do this. You can just lay the whole sheet on your table and start doing the adhesion part and start adhering it. Now that I have the shape that I want, I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut that. For $1.25, I'm not too worried about uh, keeping the excess or any waste. These, sh 
sheets usually do have measurements and lines on the back. Um, so you can just, you'll know whether you're cutting it straight or not, uh, just by following the guidelines that are on the back. Again, I'm just following the marks that I made with my um, tool there. So I have a really, really good fit here. And with this contact paper, just so I can give you a demo, the back peels off and then the faux marble is uh, very, very sticky tacky. So once it's placed down on your furniture, it's very, very, well, you probably can't move it. It's, it's super sticky. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna budge anywhere. So you wanna make sure that you get out all the bubbles and have a nice smooth finish once you're tacking it down. So I don't wanna take off the whole back. I wanna start slowly and then make sure that I get all the bubbles out. So what I'm gonna do is just peel back a little part of it. And then make sure, I'm gonna stand up for this. And then make sure that I have it positioned properly before I start tacking it all down. Nope. Okay, so I'm wrong. You can pull it up if you kind of screw up. <laughs> Um, that was not positioned perfectly. So I'm gonna try this again. And make sure that I get it right in those corners so it doesn't look like we just stuck something on so it looks like it's a legitimate faux marble top. Okay, let's try that. So you can kind of pull it up. and play with it that way. Just make sure again that all the bubbles are coming out. Okay, so far so good. That looks really good. Now I'm going to remove a little bit more from the back. And a little bit more. Just about uh, one inch, one inch of the um, under paper, like I'm pulling it slowly, inch by inch, and then making sure that there are no air bubbles as I go along. And really, if you take your time with this, it goes pretty fast and it's pretty easy actually. Great, this is even looking better than I thought. Feels good too. Okay, I'm gonna be extra careful here on the edge. Right 
right to the edge there. This looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with the way this faux marble has turned out. And for a buck 25, you really can't go wrong. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I don't know if I'm going to be embellishing it with maybe a little bit of dark wax or maybe leave it as is because it's looking really good. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If, again, if you have any furniture that is looking rough, uh, is looking dated, has stains, has maybe water stains, maybe some scratches, this is a great way to update it and cover up any imperfections. Um, so again, I'm Denise, salvagedinspirations.com. Feel free to go and subscribe. Um, feel free to subscribe here on YouTube. You can always also catch me on Instagram and Facebook. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks so much and have a great day, guys. Bye.